Yeah, this football player, he might be the MVP this year, man. Great football player, man. He, he's been lobbying for his dad to get out, you know, using his platform as a um as a football, as a great football player to hopefully get his dad out of prison, man. Um he wants his dad freed, man. Having a, a family with a traditional family with mom, dad, you know, uh, that that dynamic to me being a single mom, you know, and, and the financial part of that was I tried my best, but it was extremely hard and um, I wasn't able to provide the way I would have liked to, you know, sometimes I get like I get so emotional because I used to work 12 hour days, you know, and um you know, I would do whatever I could just to keep a roof over my children's head. And sometimes food was very scarce, you know, and um, CJ, you know, huh? CJ just like, to be honest with you, like the way people talk about him, I just, it, it really hurts me because of all that he's been through and how. CJ Stroud's dad was sentenced to 38 years in prison when he was just 13 years old. This all came to light when Stroud talked about the need for prison reform. He mentioned how he's able to communicate with his dad, Coleridge Bernard Stroud III, in jail and how his dad is able to watch him play on TV. Coleridge won't be able to see his son play in person until 2040, when he's eligible for parole at the age of 74. On April 12, 2015, Coleridge Stroud III forced his way into the vehicle of a woman stopped at a traffic light in downtown San Diego and told her to drive to a house so he could buy drugs. He then assaulted her, stole her car, crashed it into a pole, and dove into the San Diego Bay to try and escape the police. Now, this would be Coleridge's fourth arrest, but his first in more than 20 years. Coleridge appealed the court's 38-year sentence claiming that in 2012 when his marriage fell apart quote his life spun out of control Coleridge's appeal was denied but now he's out here advocating for reform of the American prison system CJ Stroud's dad was sent and he left something now he sexually assaulted the woman he kidnapped her sexually assaulted her he carjacked her kidnapped her sexually assaulted her um and now that the son is talking about prison reform man now the son is talking about prison reform, man, from using his pulpit as a um as an NFL player to talk about prison reform. And let's see what the people are saying, man. Well, as his father did commit those crimes, and he deserves to be in jail, period. Now, if he's saying that. His father didn't commit those crimes, then we can have a conversation. Kidnapping, sexual battery, robbery, carjacking, and evading an officer with reckless driving. For 38 years, he will be in there is deserved. Um This one says, I mean, I'd be pretty upset if my dad was in jail for life. That's just me, though. There's nothing wrong with wanting his dad out of jail. However, his father pled guilty to a bunch of horrible charges. So that's on his dad for being a terrible person. Um... Salute to LRLRS, man. I'm <laughs> prison reform, man. We need prison reform, man. That's what he said, man. CJ Stroud said we need prison reform. We need to reform prison. You know, we need to reform it, man. Uh, and what the fuck does he actually mean by that? Like, what does he mean by that?
What does he mean when he says prison? Like, what does he actually mean? What does that mean? What does that actually mean when he says, does, does this kid know what he's saying when he says prison reform? Like, what is he saying? I think a lot of a lot of young people in this generation, they don't know what these words mean. They don't have a clue. They just talk because they have a mouth. Very, very strange, man. Very, very strange. Um, let me let me get to some of this fuckery, man. Um, let me drop the link, man, while I'm at it, man. Um, make sure you hit that like button, man. We're going for a record number of likes tonight. We should be some. We should be headed to 200 by now, man. We should be in the ballpark, man, in the vicinity, man. We should be in the in the in the hood in the hood of um we should be in the hood of 200 likes man AP listener what's up What's up Bob you know what I like to ask that football player? If a man had broken to his mom's house and beaten and sexually assaulted her, will he be okay for that person coming out of jail early? See, the reporters never ask these people these questions like that. That would be racist. Yo, if a reporter asked that question, yeah, that you know, would we be so... Because we just heard her pity party. She's still complaining about how she had to take care of them and how they struggled and how, you know, she could barely put food on a table. And, you know, this happened like years ago. Okay. Mm -hmm. So he's now a football player. He's now successful. I mean, nobody really needs to hear that. However, this person here, this woman who sexually assaulted, he carjacked her, led the police on the chase. This woman is going to be suffering for the rest of her life dealing with that. So I like to ask these people, you know, what makes your father, because maybe it's good that his dad was in prison, because if he was out of prison, I highly think that he probably wouldn't have turned out like he did. So maybe it's a good thing the father wasn't around. And then the second thing that always angers me about all these people who talk about prison reform, it's not like when a crime is committed, you can just turn it off. Right, yeah. your safety is violated. Even if let's just for instance, they just broke into your car, right? Mm -hmm. How anger and how um, the problems that puts you in psychologically because you are angry because they're never going to probably catch the person. Your stuff right. is missing. Just a violation. But think about this: as a female, the violation on you as a person. You know, exactly. Nobody, they never take that in consideration, and then. Did you listen? He's had four prior arrests. So he's a very dangerous person. And so finally, for well, the fourth time, he's locked up where he's supposed to probably have been, should have been from the first crime. Yeah. It's just these people are just selfish. Yeah. She, um, it, 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 it's a good story if they weren't talking about the prison reform, overcoming and shit like that. A good story of overcoming, um, but they ruined it with the prison reform crap. Um, 